Hi Stitchers! It's Autumn again. I am here to do a quick tag. Um, I know. I just... Oh, I'm sorry, the lighting is not looking good. <laughs> it's a little blurry. I'm sorry. Um, it's just that time of day, <laughs> but this is the best spot I have for a moment. So anyway, um, I was on Boss Tube a little while ago, and I noticed that uh, Teresa Rosicher uh, put up a new tab. Well, I would like to answer her questions, so I think I have a few minutes uh, before I have to make dinner. So I think I would like to I like to answer those questions. Anyway, um, I hope no one minds. I know I seem to do a lot of tags on my channel. Um, it's the way I do that because I enjoy answering, uh, answering the questions. Um, I think it's a great way to get to know a person. I know uh, I enjoy watching other stitchers answer the same questions too. And I just think it's wonderful. Anyway, before I get going, I'm going to apologize. You can hear my neighbors yelling. It is uh, a college neighborhood, <laughs> so it's, I close the window, hopefully it's not too bad, we'll see. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and start with this tag. Number one, when do seasons affect your stitching pattern? Do you stitch less in the summertime? Um, great question, Teresa, I love that question. Um, yeah, I definitely think that seasons do affect my um, stitching. Um, personally, I know that I stitch more in the summertime, basically because I have more free time in the summertime. Uh, winter, on the other hand, I have less uh, stitching time because um, I'm in school and my daughter um, has a lot of after school activities too. So, I basically have time to stitch at night, but it's the opposite in summertime because then I have more time to stitch in the daytime and I have more time to stitch, dance, sew on the sewing machine. So yeah, um, definitely have a lot more great time. Okay, number two, do you prefer stitching with a wrap stand or a floor stand or in here? Well, at the moment, I only am stitching in here. Uh, that doesn't mean I do not want a, some kind of stand. I would like to have a lap stand uh, sometime in the future. So hopefully, uh, hopefully sometime soon. Okay, number three, do you prefer um, a hoop, do you stand, or in here? Um, I prefer I prefer method of machine or ah, tool. <laughs> it's a cute snap. Oh my goodness. I'm even turning red after a little stumble. Um, yes, I too prefer a cute snap, but I will really use a hoop. I don't like uh, stitching. Okay, um, number four, do you use a stitching light or no additional lighting? Um, I do use lamps, uh, or yeah, pretty much lamps. I have that one, and uh, my closet overhead lamp. I have to have some kind of lighting uh, turned on when I'm stitching. Um, I would like to get something to clip on um, my hoop or uh, key snap, um, but I haven't been able to find a hoop um, like that I like so far, and also that is affordable. So um, I'm still looking right now. Okay, number five. Um, do you use a magnifier? Yes, I do. Use this. Oh, I don't 
test and able to say no I do no such uh, so this thing up in my hair. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to edit it out because it's fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, this was my mom's. And it's pretty old. It's scratched up. But it still works very well. Um, Okay, um, do you stitch one hand or two hand? I stitch one hand. No. <laughs> because I don't have, uh, I don't have a stand. I have been attempting to, <laughs> to, uh, stitch the hand because I sit on the couch, eat on the coffee table, and I pop my frame between my legs and stitch that way. But it doesn't work very well. <laughs> okay, uh, number seven. Do you prefer to stitch alone in a quiet place or around the family or living area? Um, I prefer stitching in a quiet place with the music going and my audio book. But often that is not the case. I have my stitchy spot in the living room and I have a little girl who has friends that like to come over. And I have a husband and I have a grandmother that goes with us. So it's usually not the case. It's very busy where I'm at. So, um, have people come in all the time. So yes, I'm usually stitching when there's lots of in the living room. And it's usually very noisy. Okay, um, number seven. What is your preferred fabric and count? I think I've answered this question before, but I'm going to go ahead and answer it again. Um, I prefer 18 count Ada, but that's basically because I haven't worked with anything else, really. Um, I do have some even weave. I just am afraid <laughs> to try it out. Okay. Um, I haven't got it yet to give it a shot. I don't think sometimes do. Okay. In your stitching time, have you ever lost your stitching bug? If so, how many times have you lost it? And what and how do you get it back? Um well, I've been stitching for uh, a couple of years and uh, I have lost it a couple of times. Uh, how many times? I know from the really bad case was I lost it I think for about three or four years. It might have been long. It was quite a while. And um, it just came back by itself. Um, just one morning I woke up and I felt like stitching again. And so um, I went to the store and I think I, I got a new kit. And I just, it was something small. I even forget what it was. I think it was some kind of Christmas. Maybe we'll snowman. Oh no. Yeah, it, was, it, was a, it was a kitty cat and a dog. It wasn't the best kit to start on the tent because it was full coverage and I hate doing full coverage. But I, I did anyway because it was an adorable pattern. Anyway, um, the point of the story is it just, I stitching bug came back. On its own. And that's usually how it happens. Um, I, if I lose my stitching bug, I really don't try to do anything to make it come back. Because um, I know it's, it's, a, it's a hobby that I love. I'm always loving. And if I need to take a break from it, 
even if it's for a couple of years, that's okay. It'll come back on itself. If I feel the need to do it, to make something a cross stitch, I'll come back. So, yeah. Um, number 10, do you travel and stitch? Uh, would you stitch on a public transport or is it at a home only hobby? Um, well, I do always carry something with me, some kind of small project with me in my purse when I'm traveling. Um, and sometimes I pull it out when my husband's driving or someone else in my family. Um, and I usually stitch them unless it's on a curvy road. If it's a curvy road, then I need to stitch because I get close to it. Um, and I used to um, cross stitch on the bus when I used to take the bus uh, to and from work. Uh, but that was a while ago, and that was. That was interesting, <laughs> fun to do. Um, so yeah, I have done that in the past. Yeah, but I only keep, I only take um, small projects with me, and I keep my big ones at home because they're just too much of a hassle to uh, take with me. Anyway, I think that's it. Well, thank you, Teresa, for those great questions. And I'm going to show you something really quick that I got today, because I'm excited about it. I got uh, some new cross stitch fabric. I got some pink. And I got some red. I went to Goodwill earlier today, and I got this for, uh, see that, 99 cents. And they're uh, 12 by 18. Mm. And the little neighbor kids is not happy. They have a few, uh, few younger toddlers uh, are running around outside. Um, the neighbors. She's just not happy in there. The little one. Anyway, um, I'm pretty excited about that. I've been, I'm looking at taking this, this one here, I think, and trying to try some ice dyeing. <laughs> Um, I know everyone has been telling me about that, and um, I'm going to do a shot, so I think that's what I'm going to do with this pink one. I don't know. What do you think about the red? Do you think it can make any difference? I'm trying to dye the red. It's a pretty dark color, so I don't know if I've tried anything on it. It can make any difference or not. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, have a good day, everyone. Happy stitching. I'm going to go back to stitching myself. I'm going to go work on rainbow tricks.